Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Rad Kutsarot and this is going to be Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon and Capricorn Rising weekly tarot reading for December 10th to December 16th, 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards I want to remind you once again guys that this is just a general reading for Capricorn star sign and it is not your personal reading therefore um, I will try to do my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and as well they are synergy in the spread but at the end uh, it will fall to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation now uh, if you want me to uh, for you just like I will do for the examples I give in this video uh, that will be a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricings and as uh, Christmas is approaching of course there is a, a Christmas deals that are going on and basically the prices for the 30 and the 20 minutes um, personal reading with me are uh, reduced so that being said these are the main cards of the spread this is going to be an enhanced star spread which means that we are to pull multiple cards for a position so uh, the first position here it is the topic of the week and we do have the nine of wands which could speak a couple of things now let me draw one more card just to see and that is going to be the devil card so for what it seems here uh, I don't know how really to express it but it does look like that you will have to abandon um, let's say that there will be a reshuffling in your life throughout the week this is going to be a week of reshuffle where you sacrifice certain things in order to make your uh, make your environment and um, your life in general much more easier now this is this described here with the uh, nine of wands in the devil card so the more you uh, take away from the devil the stronger the nine of wands becomes and in that and the nine of wands here in that specific case it speaks for the reshuffling for where you force those conscious changes in your life as you now being uh, so experienced or being um driven through so much you realize what is substantial for your behalf all right and for your well-being as well and with that specific thing you may realize that some of your uh, yearnings and some of your goals are only dragging you back and it is where you know the sacrifice is gonna come from now this uh, specific situation here it is very um, how can I place it it is very potent if you are searching for partners it doesn't need to be as well partner for a an intimate relationship it could be a, a, a business partner you know or a friends and etc etc <clears throat> And if that's the case, then these cards are pointing that this time around you're try you will try to uh, throughout this week you are going to try different approach by attract to attract people uh, people around you and generally to make an impression into those that you really count on as well. Now the devil card here it is giving a, a lot of uh, of power to work with. And as, we, and as I said, it is feeding up the Nine of Swords, so the more you take from the Devil, the more than the Nine of Wands, excuse me, the more of the Nine of Wands becomes stronger. And as Nine of Wands as well is resilience, that means that your patience will be boosted, so we having you here cultivating energies as well. So you can use them, cultivating and storing them, if I may express myself that way. So you can use them whenever the time comes right and that will be different for every single one of you. But just so you know, um, I'm, I will be finished with that situation here or with that position here. So I don't stretch the reading uh, for eternity here. Just so you know, this week Capricorns is going to be a week where you can make the things, as I said, much more easier to yourself either into your relationship or either into your career however this is going to require a certain sacrifice you have to uh, give up on some meaningless things that are you probably stubborn about 
so you can obtain a, a bigger perspective or a more substantial things for your well-being. And all this comes uh, comes from the knight, the uh, the king of wands here, sitting onto the core of the situation, accompanied with the queen of uh, with the queen of swords. And we do have either a person who shown uh, who showed you the way, or you realize the way on your own. Either either way really works. If that is a person, this person will have no role in your life anymore regarding that specific um, unfoldment of yours for the for the future for example that could be a mentor of yours all right they uh, they revealed you the way how you can improve but they will no longer take a participation in that improvement it is just their job was to reveal you the way or the other way to interpret those cards is that through careful analysis that you have done you uh, you discover you know what is substantial for yourself very potent situation of that and on top of that you have discovered what needs to be done although it may be a difficult thing to do emotionally wise I'm speaking like again sacrificing a certain thing so you can you will you may be required or you may realize that you are too required to sacrifice one business so the other can thrive all right, or you may uh, realize that you have to sacrifice a friendship so you can be with the person you want and etc etc that could be again different for every single one of you but uh, these cards here are pointing that you kind of spot you how can I place it really you grow up have your um, have your goal on your spotlights if I may express myself that way and from now on is all matter of uh, of tenacious drive so you can reach it furthermore I could say here it is that you find you found out for yourself at least what is necessary for you to push the things through not to mention that you have made your research as well <clears throat> so whatever information you do have or whatever you are Imagining that you are to face as a difficulties or as a uh, uh, um, as a benefits from that specific drive moving on forward and spe that specific reshuffling, you know, of one's environment, it is gonna go that way. On top of that, you are finding yourself or you are to find yourself completely prepared in order to take on these challenges, as the Queen of uh, Swords here plays the roles as one. Uh, is drawing from past experiences so you have learned your lesson in the past and based on that lesson either consciously knowing it or being a subconsciously in present this lesson is gonna um, kind of like deprave you from making mistakes all right it's gonna restrict you into just one direction which is the right direction for you so uh, Needless to say, it is very important really to uh, kind of like listen to uh, or give expression. It's not even an ambition, all right? To give expression of what you want and realizing that no sacrifice, no victory. But you gotta be as well smart about what you are to sacrifice here, you know. So you because you don't want to sacrifice something of utmost importance to yourself, just so you can have something of a little value. For example, you can sacrifice your marriage just to sleep one night with a person that you are enthralled with. All right, so this is a, a bad sacrifice. Or you can sacrifice your lover in order to create family with someone else. All right, so you have to be very smart with the sacrifices here because obviously by reshuffling of these priorities you know or these circumstances you are to be granted whatever you want all right and i hope that you know what you want and you will be able to make peace with it on top of that for what it seems here with these couple of cards as i said you will have the knack of materializing it and to really push it to its very end. 
The next card that we do have that is to be the challenges which are causing predicaments here and we do have a, a very strong combination of being hesitant and um, having that lack of clamorous belief that things are to have happy ending. So this is the, the, the mere challenge that you are to face Capricorns. The uh, Seven of Pentacles here additionally attributes to the uh, Hermit card of the withdrawal and of a serious deliberation. Is it worth it or not? Is that sacrifice that you are on the verge of making is really necessary and it really worth it? And it's going to be okay. It's going to be fine. You know, if you take a couple of days of deliberation just so you can comprehend the losses against the benefits because this is what we're talking about here. Here, is the price that you will have to pay will justify the results that you are to have like I told you you will be completely aware of what kind of results you are going to take and in the same way you have to make yourself aware of what kind of a price you gotta pay so you can have it because the hermit card as we know it is the um, <clears throat> the long-term goal you know your light that shines at the end of the tunnel your salvation if i may say it that way or your destination simply put it so um with that being said you are going to find it either hard to believe that this is your true destination here or you will have it you will find it very hard to believe that this is the correct way of reaching your destination either one of those and as I said it's completely fine to use some extra time to deliberate on it because uh, with all these cards it this this particular agenda you know or a uh, uh, an opportunity if you want to say it that way as well ain't going anywhere and you can use even the entire week to uh, to deliberate on it is just so you know that at the end of the week or um, somewhere around that time uh, you will have to make a certain actions all right uh, at least to start provoking those uh, those changes into your environment either career wise or either relationship wise as well so uh, the next card that we do have or the final one this is the guidance that tarot is offering to you and we do have the wake up call here with the judgment card followed by the nine of cups so they, this particular combination points that sometimes we need to go through hell so we can have you know our rewards or so we can find heaven or in this case you know we need to first explore the pain so we can uh, at the end put a real value on the happiness or we have to go through poignant uh, process so we can discover again the happiness of one situation um, what I'm trying to say here is, is that these cards as a guidance tells you that you cannot evaluate the goodness unless you don't know the evil right if or in other words put it what would be God if the devil did not exist it I mean the God will simply lose its meaning because it does not have an, an equilibrium to it it does not have something to fight with all right something to give its meaning so these cards here are pointing that um, you are to completely change your perspective of how you see upon your situation that particular situation which you are reshuffling again it's going to be different for every single one of you Cap Capricorns and you are to start realizing you know that a, so a certain dead weight even though uh, you may feel bad about it has to be dropped so you can move on forth and it is very important to answer to that wake up call you know uh, this wake up call uh, it will be given to you through a numerous ways you know for some it could be um, <clears throat> fortunate circumstances what I mean is that like a uh, happening out of nowhere for others uh, it could be just a simple realization for third it could be a um, a certain insight you know one day you just wake up and you have a, a different thoughts in your mind 
all right so i uh, and uh, it is very important to follow it because this is again a major arcana and on top of that it kind of gives you a, a way of solution at uh, the judgment card it is looked like uh, you know you are trying to find your way through uh, opting in between couple of options available and suddenly out of nowhere a third option available appears or becomes uh, relevant and this is the exactly option available that is going to give you whatever you want because as we said here you are likely to have what you want but unfortunately it cannot happen without a certain sacrifice and at the end you know um, we cannot have it all right so maybe capricorns you have so much that your platter or your plate it's incapable to keep something in addition so you have to give up on something to clear up a little bit of a room in order to put that new addition in so that was the tarot reading for you capricorns now let me shuffle the lenormand cards and to see what events what what is the event that you are to experience throughout the uh, week and uh, yeah the lenormands uh, are to show us a event that uh, you should either uh, look forward to or try to avoid so the first card that we do have this is going to be the star and the star is associated with finding a way through whatever we spoke here all right finding a way through opting like i said opting in between couple of ways and suddenly a, a third one appears all right the third the next one that is going to be the stork and the stork is associated with delivery new era new um kind of like a, a new enterprise you know or it's just new beginning was the word that i'm searching for or a birth and the last one this is going to be a the house the house is associated with family is associated with home or in this case is associated with domain right well the very literal interpretation it could be that you are to find a way how to purchase a new home all right or uh, in a more figurative uh, speech, these cards are pointing that you are to find a way how to renew your domain or renew your home. And as we said here, by reshuffling and making sacrifices, you are to make yourself much more comfortable in a much more comfortable state, a state that you really want to have uh, and to be in from now on. It is just, again, it's going to take a certain sacrifice it, it will require from you to give up on something so yeah that being said guys this was your uh, weekly tarot and lenormand reading uh, i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and again this was just a, a general reading for capricorn star sign and it was not your personal reading therefore in this video i tried my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread but at the end it forced you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation now again if you want me to do that for you just like i did here with the examples of that video and you want those examples to be your personal situation that is a subject of a personal reading and for a personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you can find a full list of my services as well as their pricing rod signing out now see you next time bye